Hello, people of God. This is my Jacob's Way TV, and I am Dupi Dupi Singer, and this is episode 139. How have you been? Thank you for watching, and I hope you are charting your own course in the journey of destiny, in the path of righteousness, for God's own name's sake, for we are called by his name. Like I said in this episode 139, remember I said we were at the garden at in front of the House of Assembly of Lagos State. After a while, the government needed to refurbish the garden. If this, that word is right for a garden, had to replant the flowers and redo all sorts of things. So they sent everybody away. And they, didn't, they even closed the place up to the public. So we were like stranded again. But the guys went around and soon found another place for us. Uh, at, I mean, in the, in another garden that is close to the fire station of Lagos State. It was very conducive for us and we were there for many years. We did our midweek services there under the tree and we did our Sunday services there too. After a while, I, I couldn't commute between my home and the midweek service uh, location anymore. So we scrapped the midweek service. And so we started meeting only once a week, which, which, is, which was Sunday. You know, there were so many other people. It's a public place. Excuse me, and not everybody that came there came there because of us. There were so many other users of the garden. But you remember that the Lord had said we should give ourselves breakfast or something after service. So after we are done, you see so many people have refused to join us ordinarily, coming to join us, expecting that we will share our food with them. My guys always rebuff them. Sometimes I, I carry my face away. As if I have not noticed what was happening. Many times I will ask them to ignore them and give them food. There was a particular guy who would always fetch somewhere waiting for us to disperse. So he could come and join us for, for breakfast. He never joined us for church service. My guys were always warning me that one day they were going to be buffing. He looked to me like a guy from a very rich family, but who got trapped in, in drugs and found himself on the street. I would always plead, plead with him to join us. He always rebuffed me too, but he would always come back for food. This particular Sunday, my guys have made up their minds that they were going to stun him out. He didn't know they said so. But he came in that day telling us that he was very hungry. And he sat down comfortably, so sure that we will not turn him down. The guys were very angry with him. They were going to push him out. So one of them just asked carelessly, Who are you? And he looked at the person, he looked at all of us, and he said, I am Jesus. Those who laughed, laughed. Those who were angry, got angry. Those who swore, they were street guys, swore. Uh, some of them were ready to carry him and throw him out. And he kept saying, I'm Jesus, I'm Jesus. Will you not give me food? I'm Jesus. When what he was saying got to my notice, I was initially going to get angry. But then I quickly remembered what the Lord said in Matthew chapter 25. I think from verse 38. He, say, he says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, with the angels coming with him. And so the king will sit on his throne, judging, or as a judge. Then he will put the goats on the left side, and he will put the, the, the sheep on the right side. And he will say to the goats, when I was hungry, you did not, you did not give me food. When I was thirsty, you did not give me water. When I was sick, you did not... Take care of me. When I was in the prison, you did not visit me. 
When I was homeless, you did not give me shelter. And when I was naked, you did not cover me. And those ones asked him, when did we see you, Lord? And we did not do any of these things to you. And he said, since you have refused to do it to any of my brethren, you have not done it for me. And he sent them into damnation, into eternal, eternal damnation. But to the people on the right, he said, you did all these things for me. And they also asked him, when did we see you, Lord? And we did this for you. They must truly be righteous because they should have kept quiet. But they were still asking him, we didn't remember that we did this to you. And yet you are telling us we are not content like the others. And the Lord said, because you did it to the least of my brethren, the least, the least, the least of my brethren, you have done it for me. Immediately I remembered that scripture. I told my guys to leave him and to give him food. I said, give him food. He said, but mommy, he said, it's Jesus. I said, yes, it's Jesus. Give him food. I'm asking you, is he not Jesus? Was he not Jesus? By the scripture that I just quoted for you. That was a peculiar Sunday because after that Sunday, I went to a meeting where I was going to meet with some other ministers of God. And I told them that Jesus was in our church today. And they looked at me, you know. I said, how? And I told the story ministers of God, and each one stood up, scolding me. Why do you allow people to take advantage of you like this? That guy is just smart. That guy is just smart. That guy just played on your intelligence. Everybody said, I allowed everybody to have finished reacting. When I said to them, do you remember what the Lord Jesus said in Matthew chapter 25? I reminded them, and they were also quiet. They fell into very deep thoughts. And each person said, yes, it makes a lot of sense. Wow. Many of them said, I will have missed Jesus. Hmm. By the next week when we met, after service, two or three of them came and said, you know, I was more sensitive this time during the week. Remembering the word of the Lord and taking care of people as if they were Jesus. Every child of God must be very, very sensitive to this. And you know what is striking about that Matthew chapter 25 that I am still waiting to understand is the fact that Jesus did not say irregular. He didn't say it is the brethren that are followers of me, that's represented me. He didn't say, it is only when they are good and kind and you have good reasons that you should have given them food or shelter. He didn't say, if they belong to another religion, you should ignore them. He did not even say at that point that they, those, the least of my brethren must have necessarily believed on his name well, except for the fact that if they were his brethren they would have believed on his name he he sees himself in everybody that is a human being that is created by god don't forget that the bible says in in john chapter 1 verse 9 i, I think that jesus is the light that lights everyone that comes to the world. So he looks out for everybody. Indeed, he doesn't want anybody to perish. And he has given all of us the ministry of looking out for each one of us. But the guy said, I am Jesus. So I asked everybody that, that, that I told the story to at one time or the other. What if, if the Lord comes shortly after that? What excuse will I have? Will I say, I have not read that scripture before? Or will I be arguing that um, it was because I was not sensitive? All of us have to be sensitive. Because true, the Son of Man will come one day. And I ask and I pray that he will meet us. 
sensitive, ready. So we, we, when we stand before him, we just say, Lord, we just followed your words. And I tell you, it will take us to everlasting life. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You probably saw some young guys behind me. I am a lucky grandmother. My grandsons are here for the week. For the week, they spend their, their midterm with me. I have told them to be quiet, but you know how young boys are. I hope you forgive us for this. Thank you for watching. This is my Jacob Sweet TV. I am Dupi Dupi Singer. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and do all the need for. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye, and God bless you.